Hello, Andres Segovia Show listeners. The regularly scheduled program for today was bumped for tomorrow because I felt like I should share a recording of a video that I made for Facebook, my personal Facebook, that I ended up getting a lot more views than I expected. Uh, I ended up posting it on YouTube as well, um, and I figured, you know what, why don't I just rip the audio and post it here for your listening pleasure. So here is the recording I made in remembrance of Memorial Day. The Andres Segovia Show will, will resume its regularly scheduled programming tomorrow. Hey everyone, just wanted to just chime in to remind you all of what Memorial Day is all about. Because this is a weekend normally families get together, friends, do a barbecue, a cookout, and just completely forget what it's about. It's about the fallen soldier, those that paid the ultimate price so that we can enjoy a free weekend. But we're in unprecedented times, so depending on where you are, you might not be able to enjoy the weekend. Yeah, they are crazy times. Yeah, the fact of the matter is, this is our time to answer the call. We think about the greatest generation answering the call. They weren't the only ones. Just generations thereafter. And I know people today that have answered the call and have served their time. And I salute them. But we're remembering those that couldn't come back. At least not in a way that they could enjoy their family. I thank them. And I also want to make mention about the Shadow Warriors Project. The Shadow Warriors Project is for those that never stopped serving. They just didn't serve under, I guess you would, you would say, public service. They went back as private contractors, which is an even riskier business when they got zero benefits to their names. So keep them in mind this weekend. There's a lot of division going on out there. I'm fed up with it. I sound off on that, actually, on on my website, Um That's where I do an off-the-record show. Not, not, you can't find this on any podcast catcher unless I give you the link. Uh, and I've been sounding off on a lot of it because it's, uh, it's an interesting weekend. There are those that are going to be brave enough to go out there. And there are those of you that are going to shame them for doing so. That's what I mean about our time to answer the call. We all got to be thinking about others during this time. But you shaming others isn't helping. Just because you're too afraid to step out of the house doesn't mean you should shame them. No one's telling you to step out of the house. Because if everybody had that mindset, you wouldn't be having the postal workers working. You wouldn't be having the carriers from UPS, FedEx, OnTrack, DHL. They wouldn't be working. Amazon wouldn't be working. Your food delivery service wouldn't be working. You're the truckers out there. We literally have legislated discrimination now from the very group that insulted those of us that are supposed to be uh, those that don't support equality. <laughs> Go figure how the tables have turned. They tell you that you are not important. Well, I'm here to tell you and remind you that just because I'm essential, so are you. And I look forward to seeing you back out there eventually. Safely. All right, everybody. Have a good, safe weekend.